my life had become so hopeless. Um, I found myself pacing in my bedroom with a pistol in my hand. And I didn't want to kill myself, but I just didn't want to live anymore. So I really contemplated shooting myself or walking up to the local store and robbing it and waiting on the police to come to shoot it out and have them kill me. Um, and then I got a text message that saved my life. As I grew from a child into young adulthood, I struggled with a lot of emotional and uh, anger issues. I was always in trouble in school. I was always in the streets. I was skipping school. I was usually out committing crimes or drinking or partying. I got into some trouble where it involved a gun and uh, opening fire in public. So instead of finishing high school, I was incarcerated at the age of 16. The identity I formed um, from my past and from everything I had been through and up to that point had led me into just a dark spiral and out of control life um, as an adult. Started popping pills all the time. Eventually that led to heroin. Once the heroin came in, it was like a whole different ball game. I just didn't care about anything. I, I didn't care whether I lived or died. I didn't care who I hurt. It was like an endless cycle for years. I couldn't seem to get out of it. And I would try and try, and I would want to. I just didn't know how to. So I was pacing back and forth with a gun in my hand, and um, I did not want to kill myself, but I just really didn't want to live in that uh, reality anymore of what, it, what I had become. So another thing that kept going through my head is go to the store up the street and just rob them and wait for the police to come and just have them shoot and kill me. So I hit my knees in such desperation for, for anything. I, I, I started yelling out to God. I was actually cussing. God, why am I so weak? Why can't you give me the strength to get through this addiction and overcome this? And um, before I could even get done yelling out, my phone vibrated, so I looked at it and it was my ex-girlfriend's mother. It was a text message from her that said, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. And it says, come to me and, and you'll find rest. And it, it went on to all these different things that, once I got that message and read it, and, and I just felt this peace come over me. And I was on my knees, but I actually fell backwards onto my back and just started bawling my eyes out. And so that opened my eyes up to, to believe that God is real and that there was no denying what just happened. There wasn't a coincidence. I met some people that had told me about the City Reach Hope Homes program. I came into the home and um, man, right away I was met with nothing but love. I was baptized in water, I was baptized in the Holy Spirit, and uh, I've really been on fire for God ever since. When you feel that love, you can't help but want to give it to other people and um, just free people, help people get free from their addictions and, and all the, the darkness that consumes their lives. I graduated the Hope Home and I am now helping lead the very home that I had gone through and that saved my life, ultimately. I uh, am now in ministry school because I am pursuing ministry and walking into the calling God has for my life. I know there's a lot of pain, depression, suicidal thoughts, and drug addiction out there, but I am living proof that Jesus can set you free.